So we'd like to explain a little bit about the battery systems in electric cars and we're going to use this Audi e-tron dual motor system in front of us to do that. So while we're here talking about the Audi kind of self-driving ladder that they're bringing us up towards, we're also talking about the battery technology. The interesting thing here is that the battery technology, uh, you think of it as one big monolithic battery and it's actually not, it's a lot of little cells. These are all the cells and they all weigh around 13 kilos each. So when you think about changing a whole battery, you're really, really not doing that. If you have to change the battery at all, what you would do is this thing would drop down from the bottom of the car and then you would access each one of those. Now, in terms of how you actually use this at home, what you do is, this is the charging system, DC and AC. When you do that and you plug it in, what happens is that this DC goes straight to that. AC goes into a converter and then it goes into there. Then that kind of a switching system is what tells the power where it should go. And when it does that, it goes into this and these are the two motors. Uh, then you've got additional switching gear there that just basically adjusts it because remember that each of these is adjusting power, recuperating power, and everything else. So it's not as complicated when you think about it. It's not as complicated as an internal bus engine that's going there and blowing things up and running fuel through and everything else. Uh, it's actually a fairly simple system when you think about it. And this is what allows them to take that platform and make all that space in a car like the Q6 e-tron. It also, by the way, makes it a lot more easy to go self-driving because everything else is far more controlled than ever. So it's all very, very direct control. So this is a good example of why we think modern electric car systems are actually forward thinking in terms of how they're planning. They're flexible and they're modular. And yet they also still, as you can see, give a whole freedom to design that other cars just never had.